In today's experiment, we will see the reaction between copper metal and nitric acid. Now this is nitric acid in the beaker. Here is a glass of water. This is copper flakes and we have a measuring cylinder. Now first, we will make the acid solution. For this, we are going to take 3 milliliters of nitric acid, pour it out in the measuring cylinder, exactly 3 milliliters. And then pour it in the first beaker. Now this is the concentrated nitric acid. Once again, we are going to measure 3 ml of nitric acid in the measuring cylinder and pour it into the second beaker. So the first and the second beaker both have 3 ml of nitric acid. Now we are going to take 20 ml of ordinary water and pour it in the second beaker so as to dilute the nitric acid. So one beaker has concentrated nitric acid and the second one has diluted nitric acid. Now we're going to take some flakes of the metal copper. First place a few copper flakes in the beaker with concentrated nitric acid and then a few flakes in the beaker containing dilute nitric acid. Wait for a little while. In the left one you will see the solution is getting green and there are brown fumes which are emanating. There is a very vigorous reaction happening in the left hand beaker which has concentrated nitri nitric acid. However no gas comes out from the dilute acid. These brown colored fumes indicate the production of nitrogen dioxide. You can see a green liquid in the base of the beaker. In the second beaker containing dilute nitric acid there is no reaction on the copper flakes. We can also say that the reaction rate in the first beaker is very fast whereas in the second beaker the rate of reaction is slow. It will take a time, little time before the reaction starts. But in the first beaker the reaction is almost over. You can see all the copper flakes have dissolved in the concentrated nitric acid leaving behind a very beautiful green colored solution of copper nitrate. So the green liquid is actually copper nitrate. Isn't this a fun experiment in chemistry? You must always do this experiment under adult supervision.